Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode of our adventures, we're able to find their way to the city of Somersale overseas, and they've just landed, and they have noticed that Somersail is abandoned. They don't see anyone in sight. No damage has been done to any of the buildings, and no ships are moving in or out of the dock. And that is where we left off. So, yeah. I'm going to step off the boat. the boat. Okay. Start heading in, man. Hey, I don't trust anything. <laughs> I'll go with I'll go with him. Okay, so, again, as you go further into the city, you see no one. Hello! Even all the buildings, I mean, all of the doors to buildings are all closed. You don't hear any sounds coming from them. Every once in a while, you do see a sign on the door. Like, uh, one of them was, uh, uh, <laughs> there's one that you notice that is advertising Lucky Lone Group. And right on the door, there's a sign that says, Away on a camping trip. Please come back in one week. Oh, we ran into the guy. And, like, you can go into any buildings you want. There are a bunch, like, tons and tons of house, houses, because it's a big city. It's a big looting spree. There <laughs> are also large, lots of, like, armory shops or, uh, bakeries, uh, stuff like that. Pretty much anything. So where are we lots dropping? Bars. <laughs> All I imagine is, like, it's like one of those, like, uh, scenes from, like, a Wild West movie or whatever, where you have, like, those, like, dust. Wow, uh, wow, or whatever. Wow. It's like, it's or it's like, like, I am ready. Wow, wow, yeah, you see yeah. a few tumbleweeds just, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> wow, wow, past wow. you guys. Wah, wah, wah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna right, see if I, I can. Uh, what we now that we're in the city proper, I can't be that good. I also okay, do uh, a comment check. In one of, in what you assume is one of the largest markets of town, you do you detect the use of powerful magic to attack as if to hit someone, mm. and you also detect some kind of transformation magic. Extremely powerful, this time, like more powerful than Dimension Door, or anything you've actually ever seen before. Damn, son. Damn, Daniel. And time frame wise, how did you see? Uh, you would assume that was maybe three days ago, maybe four. Okay. And is that, like, did that fall into the same time frame as the other spells that I checked on the boat? On the boat? Yeah, about that. Yeah, it was all the same time. Yeah. It could be either, you're not sure. Hmm. I um, <laughs> This explains a lot. <laughs> it's no wonder, mm-hmm. uh, it's no wonder the king never got his, uh, his return letter. Uh, apparently everyone is gone. And I'm assuming they're all out, out gone for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should check the castle. Maybe the king is still there. Right, so. It's a good oh, idea. Um, I guess we could take our horses in the wagon that we've had the entire time on the ship. We took them on the ship. I don't yeah. think so. We did? I think yeah. so. Yeah. That's super unsafe. Those Remember you gave us two different horses yeah. in a wagon, mm-hmm. same wagon? I have a very important question. Yep. What did we name the horses? Eden. Excellent. Let's spend 20 minutes right now <laughs> figuring out good um, I say we name one, um, <clears throat> left and right. Nice. <laughs> How about Mario and Luigi? No. Mario. And Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do that. Wow, <laughs> So, what would everyone like to do at this moment? Is Can there I... a shop that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, Cross says die or something? So that, everyone's yeah. gone. It's yeah, an abandoned I, town. You can't buy I, a tie from anyone. You're gonna I steal know, die? I, no, I'll leave money on the counter for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there would be. So, that's, uh, in like the sack, that would be in the outer range, just probably about ten blocks past the past the port and harbor. Oh, he's uh, gonna dye his cape fuchsia pink. <laughs> Peach pink, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just gonna go do that. I'm gonna check it out the town while I'm walking around. He's just just gonna dye all the marble, so he has no clue where <laughs> the gold is taken or what any of them will do, no matter. Yeah, what. this was unbiased when I pick them. Yeah. I'm gonna follow him. On this trail. You're, uh, gonna, you're gonna come with me or follow me? <laughs> I'm gonna follow him on this trail. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna investigate the wolves. Uh, I mean, we still have uh, to find the, the wolves. King. You saw them when you were 
like come into the city, like on the ship, but you don't, you haven't seen them yet, and you don't know exactly where in the city they are because this is a huge city. Can I look for them? Sure. I'm gonna tame one. Yes, yeah, survival man. Yeah, you'd have to do a survival check. Pebble and handling. That's if you find them. Yeah. Uh, so Elrendal. Uh, I'll we'll do it later. Or animal handling yeah, is how you deal with the animals, not how you find them. Oh, yeah, yeah. survival is thought, tracking. Them. I thought we. Found them already. No, no. you, you we just saw, saw them, them from uh, far when you like okay, came okay, to okay. Were, were, when you were on the boat, but you don't know exactly where they are. Okay, they, this is a huge city. Sweet. Uh, so Elrendal and Farron, you're going to the like a uh, shop where you can dye stuff. So that would most likely be like a clothing shop. A shop where you can die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so you enter this shop that is called. That is called, uh... Get Ready to Die. (laughs) (laughs) It's called Get Ready to Die, and it's a store that's known for its beautiful colors of clothing. Outfits to die for. Oh, that's Uh even so good. It is called Outfits to Die For. Well, no, it could be uh, get ready to die, and the motto <laughs> is outfits to that. die he for. No, you no, no yes. we can share. He beat you. <laughs> it could be a get ready. <laughs> Don't uh, dab when you say it. Just so the audience knows, Duncan just dabbed. <laughs> Ironically, Duncan just no. dabbed on him. <laughs> See, it could be. Wait, what, what did you say again? You said uh, outfits, to, to, die. Die. outfits yeah. to die for. You could get ready to die. It could be like the slogan. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the slogan work. Yeah, <laughs> your slogan. Nice. So weak, you enter this shop and again, there's no one in here. Uh, nothing seems to be like in disarray or anything. There's right. a bunch of like racks with different clothing of like beautiful bright colors of some things and then some really dark colors of others. Some colors you didn't even know existed. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, there's also a section in the store for if you want to dye your own stuff. So where you can buy your own dye. Uh, I'm going to find some black dye and dye my cloak. Okay. Huh? Why are we in this store? Well, I went in the store to dye my cloak. You didn't. Yeah, I yeah. went with him. Oh, Fair enough with me. Yeah. You all didn't come with You me. can come with me. I'm hunting wolves. Okay. Let's go hunt some wolves. I have good animal handling. Can't be Poor and both. What's your survival? Plus five. Also plus five. <laughs> I got you both beat. You have 20 wisdom? No. I have plus two proficient. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's. I'm not proficient in yeah, survival. He's a ranger, so. And I have it. Makes oh, sense. Okay. I have a uh, plus two. I have a. Yeah, so if you wanted, you could dye your cape, like, right in the store. Like, they have a section where you can actually dye your own coats. I'm gonna do that. Can it be like Breath of the Wild and you have to fall into a tank? <laughs> nice. Because yeah. that is honestly <laughs> one of I my favorite of. things to do in Breath of the Wild. Uh, since you don't want your entire outfit dyed, I assume. Uh. No, just the cloak is fine. Okay. So you would just uh, put the dye in, like pour like five drops of dye into this huge vat, yes. and then immediately as soon as the drops of the water it just disperses and turns black. Nice. Um, how much do you think, would I know how much the dye would have costed? Uh, there's a cost. big sign in the middle of the store that says, dye your own clothes for uh, five sil- silver pieces per item. Okay. So you die, um, and then it's like, kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're going with the slogan. Um, yeah. So my cloak is died, it's good? Yeah. Okay, sweet. I put it back on. I go. Um, so wet, man. Is there. Well, so you said it was good. Yeah, goodly died. <laughs> Not goodly dried. <laughs> Figure it and out. Then, like, there's also like a rack where that has some magic attuned to it that as soon as you. Put it on, it just dries the entire nice. clothing item. Okay, well, I do that, and then I put okay. it on. Okay. Um, I go over to the counter. Uh, is there, like, a piece of paper or something there that I can write on? Yeah, you'd, you'd be able to find some paper. I just, I grab it, and I write, and I say, to shopkeeper, came here while everyone was gone, died my cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then I leave, um, I leave 20 silver pieces. Okay, you know, well, you don't have to do that. No one's here. It's not stealing. Uh, it would be t- still stealing, yeah. I just wanted to do this quick and take a look around town while we were walking. Um, so, yeah, that would be wrong not to do, to pay someone for their um, 
items Services. and things. Exactly. All right, to each their own, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, I leave that note and the silver pieces on the counter. And I leave. Power move. <laughs> uh, I'll go back to you guys now. Uh, Lazarus, were you following the Yeah, I might as well. Okay, cool. I was going to go to the king, but no one else was, so... Okay. Fuck it. We'll go there. Eventually. Just gotta check out this abandoned city first. Okay, so, uh, Blaze, what did you roll for your survival check? I didn't. Okay. I'll do it now. 15? 14. 15. Nice. 13, 14, 15. Uh, you guys are able to... Every once in a while, since this town is deserted, you hear the howling of a wolf. And you're able to discern where it is, where it is, and you're able to, uh, actually track them to a kind of marketplace square where they're all at. Right now, they're all just kind of eating some food that is at a stall in the market. It looks like it was some kind of meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't really care about the wolves. Yep. Yeah. We're like taming them, so I'm going to try and find a vantage point. Okay. Uh, there are tons of statues around this town, and you'd probably be able to climb onto one of them that's one of the big ones. It's probably about, like, 20 feet tall, Okay. you'd be able to get on top to look, or you could choose to go on top of a house if you wanted, because there's, well, not a house, but a building, because there are some buildings that are, uh... Like, overlooking the marketplace? Yeah. I'll probably climb a building. Okay, uh, you're able, I'll just say you're able to climb up. And it's, but, well, this building is probably about 40, maybe 50 feet high. Okay. Uh, it was a three-story building that was just for, uh, books. Like, it was, it was a library, down. pretty much. You hear that, please? Whole building full of books. <laughs> See, I just, oh, just we're stopping! Just lips. <laughs> oh, we are, um, uh, fellas, uh, we're making a quick pit stop. <laughs> I'll just keep a vantage point over the wolves, make sure nothing goes down. Okay. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> into the wolves or into the library? <laughs> into the library. Oh, okay. Okay. The wolves are no longer on my interest list. <laughs> okay. Or they fell just second. Yeah, you've entered this library and it's a three or four story tall building, I'd say. All filled with books and scrolls. <laughs> uh, I look down and I'm like, good thing I have a bag of holding. Uh, <laughs> it's four stories tall, but it's only ten feet long. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like the world's smallest bookstore. It is a wide and deep store. Uh, library. I'm going to take as many books as I can. Any specific types? Uh, I want a history of Summersdale book. I want an okay. overall history of Telfania book. I want like a cool like uh, uh I've never know how to explain this. It's like a animal animal kingdom kind of book. I want a, like the a, a zoology book. The zoology book? book of uh, Telfania. You know, like uh, an animal encyclopedia. <laughs> yes, yes, an okay, animal sure. encyclopedia of Telfania. I want uh, a book. a mythology book. Mm-hmm. I want a book of. Uh, the kings and uh, the royal t- royal families. Okay. So I can learn more about them. Uh, I want as many books about <laughs> making crepes as I can find. Uh, you look for the uh, series of books, Ways to Make Crepes, and they're all sold out in this <laughs> library. Like, all of them have been rented out or bought. Dastardly book readers. Once again, I've been thwarted. <laughs> they're, they're pretty rare books. Pretty rare, yes. Uh, you come across like six of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I'm also going to take as many spare scrolls as I can. Okay, on um, like what specific stuff? Oh, just like spare scrolls, like oh, empty scrolls. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then also just like uh, you know, like random facts and knowledge. Okay. Uh, 101 what fun ways to prank your teacher. <laughs> I don't need no teacher. Yeah. I am I the teacher. You like I am the teacher. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, just, you know, nothing exciting. It's really all history and biology and everything like okay. that. Like actual intellectual stuff. 
And then one coloring book. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm an artist. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> the therapy thing. Express your feelings. <laughs> it's uh, a drawing monsters. There's like a paint a uh, paint by numbers monsters. Uh, there is a dragon turtle, a minotaur. There's a fucking uh, jaguar. <laughs> hey, jaguars are scary. If you ran into a jaguar in the real world, would you not be scared? I didn't say that. Yeah, that's right. You'd be scared. And so that series of coloring books. It. There's a very rare book that you've heard of that has one specific monster in it. It's, uh, I should have thought of this before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't just talk out of my ass all the time. <laughs> uh, it's a book on... What have I done? It's got one page in it that's dedicated to... Uh, uh, vampires. This, uh, special coloring book is one of very few that has a paint by numbers, uh, ancient golden dragon in it. And you do find this book in this library. It's a very rare find. Score! <laughs> uh, and I'll put it in my bag of holding and I'll exit back out and be like, oh, I forgot about the wolves. <laughs> I feel like it would be pretty easy to draw, an, I mean, color in an ancient gold dragon. It's one color. There's gold. There's, <laughs> I'll have you know that there are over 50 shades of gold in this paint by numbers. <laughs> it's serious stuff. <laughs> uh, so was there anything you were wanting to do while he was checking out the I'm just basically along for the ride. Okay. I don't care about the book so much. Okay. Can I raid the <coughs> cash register too? Mm-mm. Yeah, you'd be able to. Not while <laughs> he's there. <laughs> uh, robbery. Yeah, well, you can't stop me. I can stop you. <laughs> I'm gonna raid the cash I cast register. Old person on you. I'm a <laughs> neutral. <laughs> this is nonsense. I need money to buy food. Lawful good. That is still theft, man. But you let me just steal like thirty bucks. <laughs> it's a library. I believe you will return them. You thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine, fine. I won't rob the cash register. Okay? Alright, um, let's fight the wolves. Okay, I'll go back to these two before that happens. Let's See. not fight the wolves yet. Okay, okay. I so is there anyone her. else that you guys are planning on going to? No, I... a store for crunch anything myself. in the city. No, I just wanted to down my croak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <I> just... <laughs> And gentleman with some pride. I don't even wish. know. <laughs> I just wanted to dye my cloak. <laughs> Tony's uh, from a different country. Don't judge. <laughs> and that is, <laughs> and that is it. Um, um, I would yeah. like to look for a magic shop of some sort. Okay, uh, you're able to find a magic shop that's uh, magic that's shop. called uh, Heaps Brooms and anything more. I don't know. Hey, okay, those up off the fly, those these. Cool. And uh, the sign for it has a large cape right in the middle that looks like it's billowing, kind of like uh, Al- Aileron Elves cloak. It should have been called Magic Mike's. God damn it. Okay, <laughs> I'm right, right that it is called Magic Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I, I, say, I say to Farron, are we sure this is a, a magic shop or a shirt cloak? <laughs> Look, it says magic on it. it. Clearly means it's a magic shop. And there are like wands and capes. Yeah, there's wands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like wizard hats yes. on the sign. Uh, I'm gonna go investigating in that shop. Okay, uh, your the door opens and inside you see a lot of items. Uh, oh most of them seem to be just, like, specialty items, so, like, stuff kind of like, uh, Aelrindal's cloak, which, so, like, cloaks that just billow in the wind, hats that make you look, uh, more handsome, <laughs> uh, br- there are a few brooms in this store that you could get to, like, fly on, uh, all of them have price tags on them. Uh, and there's also, you do see a couple monocles of Lewinsky. Uh, one other thing you see is a pair of bag, bagpipes hanging at the end of the room. 
I'm bringing them back. <clears throat> and on it, it has a sign that says, Peg types of stealth. I think you might want to so uh, wait out here while I go chip in the shop. I don't think magic's really your thing. No, I would definitely come inside. <laughs> I, I, want to to <laughs> I want to see what's up in here. All right, fine. You have it your way. She's got to play the bag, the bag pipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to look for anything that maybe might help me with intelligence. For a sec. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, help me with uh, investigating magic. Uh, let's see. So there would be, there is a necklace that has a twenty-sided dice dice on it, and it's the necklace of knowing. Okay. And it will give you advantage advantage on uh, arcana checks. And would I know that that's what this necklace does? Yeah, it, yeah. Would. Okay. You put it on and got an advantage on your <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. You're like, wait a second. Why do I feel no. so knowledgeable? I'll pick it up. Kind of look at it. Very nice. And I will take it off. <laughs> the price tag, I'll just rip it and throw it behind me and okay. I, put it around my neck. <laughs> I see you do this and I pick it up, the price tag, and I hand it to you. <laughs> what does it say on the price tag? Uh, it says, uh, 70 gold pieces. Mm. Seven zero. I say, you got this kind of money? Um, yeah, I, I do have the money. Put it on the counter. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna go waltzing to the doorway. I'm gonna go. grab him. Come on. Okay, uh, let, it, let a man steal. Do you pay a strength <laughs> check and do you compete? I run a <laughs> Yeah, you're able to grab him and, like, restrain him. You broke Farron's arm. (laughs) (laughs) Behind his back. Don't ever (laughs) stoop. What are you doing? Um, I just, I just grab, so as you kind of turn, I, I grab uh, your shoulder and kind of, like, rotate you around and grab you by, like, the collar, kind of, and hold you. I'm like, hey, look, man, you can't just steal stuff. I'm going to give you one chance to let me go. Believe me, you do not want to be doing this. <laughs> I'm only going to give you one chance to pay up. Fuck this dice. <laughs> what is that, man? We don't, we, don't, we don't steal things. That's and not the right thing to do. Your chance is up. I'm going to cast Gust of Wind on him. Okay. To blast him away from me. Uh, first of all, how are you restraining He's holding um, me. I was hold- I yeah, I grabbed him by like, like the collar. Yeah. Okay, so you've got still got movement. I still have movement with my hands. Yeah, uh you're able to cast the spell. You have to make a strength save. A strength saving throw? Mm-hmm. What? Uh that is a twenty two. Okay, well that he passes. Um, hold on. I believe nothing happens. <laughs> Just make his cloak. Cloak below in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it was already billowing. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I look epic at every single point in time, no matter what I'm doing, even if I am falling. <laughs> yeah, so he's fine. But nothing happens to me. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, and you're still restraining them. Yeah, you would still have hold me. I'm telling you, I'm not paying the money. And the longer you hold me, the more angry I'm getting. Um. As I'm holding him, I grab the necklace and I yank it off from his neck. Um, Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? And I just take it and I um I toss it on the counter. I really don't want to do this. And I go back to holding your your car. I'm like, and I, and I say, let's get out of here. And I like kind of um. I throw you, I, th- I I push you, kind of throw you towards the door. I resist that. I try to resist the push. Okay, uh, I know he'll push me. You're a strength saving throw. It's not going to be good. Four. <laughs> what, what's your normal strength? I know it. Uh, 17. <laughs> yeah, you mm-hmm. failed that. Yeah. yeah. So he pushes you through the door. Dude, I don't think you're going to get this necklace. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is I have to play with my character. Uh... <laughs> Pay for the necklace. <laughs> I can't. I literally <laughs> can't character, after. So. Yeah, I know, but it's like character thing. Yeah, I could have if it's I called the role other playing. Day. I understand. <laughs> All, right. All right, look. 
I'm not leaving this shop without that necklace. Well, I'm not. If I have to bring you and the whole store down with it, I will. But that necklace is mine. And I'm not paying a damn gold piece for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's none of my business. <laughs> Think about it well, the frog I'm afraid I can't let you do that unless you pay for it. I'm not paying for it. Well, you're gonna have to go through me. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> fine at the doorway. I cast blindness on him. Oh, <laughs> oh no way. <laughs> you have to make Tony. a con save. Uh, that's a seven that fails. You had to beat a 14. Yeah, so and I cast for, extended spell on it. For how okay. long? Two minutes. Shouldn't we be shouldn't we be like rolling for initiative or something? Like when are we gonna be in, yeah. <laughs> going into a fight? Well you guys were kind of just saying one thing, yeah. then you'd say it the next, then you'd say it the next, then you'd say it the next. So it was kind of already initiative. Okay. Um While well, he's blinded, I'm gonna go for that necklace and get okay, out of I'm standing right in the doorway. You're also blind, Tony. So yeah, so but... Has to. Uh, Tony, roll a strength saving throw. With disadvantage, since you're blind. How big is your character, Tony? <laughs> He's pretty He's big. He's like six foot. That's how tall I am. Uh, sorry, what was it? Like a saving... Strength saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh... You take the lowest number. I know. Um... It's 11. And what's your... Either dex- passive dexterity or... Strength. Um, so that's just your ability score. Oh, okay. Uh, 14. Yeah, uh, you're able to get past him. Yeah, I slip past him and you grab that necklace. Okay. And then go out a back um, door. There's a back door. Yeah, yeah, I go out the back door. So I'm just blind for two minutes. That's stupid. <laughs> hey, try being blind for two hours. <laughs> you're asleep for both hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had some weird dreams. I couldn't well, see anything. Nice and I'll go back to uh, the other three here. So you are in this marketplace, and there are uh, about four wolves just chowing down on some meat in one of the stalls. I turn to my friends, and I say, uh, Okay, here's the plan, guys. <clears throat> here's the plan, guys. We're going to go in real quiet, and we're going to fuck them up. <laughs> I know we're gonna one of them we're not gonna hit we're just gonna kill all its friends and then I'm gonna intimidate it into yeah, submission really gonna trust us after we kill okay it fine family. fine here's the plan I'll try to tame it it doesn't work then we'll kill all its friends and then tame it I have a hunter's trap why don't we lead, lead one of them off of the pack if you want a wolf so much who doesn't want a wolf I hold up my wolf's paw necklace, and I'm like, I have the only part of a wolf that I need. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're pretty cool. Bad. <laughs> <That's> badass. <laughs> that, was, that was badass. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Uh, I'm intimidated in life. <laughs> um, but no. Okay, fine. We'll go with your plan. I trust you. You're an experienced hunter. Uh, let's let's get a wolf. So, from my vantage point, I'm yeah. trying to find like a dead-end alley or something. And uh, that's relatively close by. Uh, you've been able to find one. It's just like two streets to the south. Okay, and then I'll I'll set down my hunter's trap and uh, put a piece of my uh, deer venison on it. Oh, right. That's still good. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's still good or not. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll put a bunch of like uh, whatever trash or whatever I can find in the alley, kind of covering it up. Okay. And then I'll... Go climb closest building and just wait for a wolf. Okay. I did my part. You guys can do yours. You really care. Well, all that's really left to do is wait, <laughs> isn't it? Well, you we have to maybe hurt the wolf. You guys can speed up the process if you uh, heard heard them over here. Brian, this is gonna sound really mean, so I don't I don't get offended. <laughs> don't get offended. <laughs> but you're probably the fattest out of us. I'm not fat. <laughs> I just no, weigh the most. That's that's what I mean. It's, it's like technically okay. Sorry, you weigh the most out of all of us. Which means yes, you're the heaviest. Well, it's the same as fattest. It's okay? not. Di- uh, I'm listen, fit. listen. I told you, don't get offended. It's not meant to be a rude way. You're just an idiot. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> you oh, be yeah, the the bait, and uh, 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 don't worry. I won't let them kill you. Uh, I'll keep an eye out with you from above, and I'll make sure you're not hurt. Just lead him towards the alleyway. 
Shouldn't the weakest one of us... That's still you. No. (laughs) 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 I guess... Actually, I should be the bait because I'm the fastest. Now I think about it. I just thought you might smell a little meteor. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Okay, and the more I think about it, the more rude I'm being. Do you uh, want me to help you with this? Yes. I don't have to. No, I would love for your help. Uh, Alright, well, you better watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that's my bad. I'm not really good with people. Uh, <laughs> Let's do it. Let's fuck him up. Right, you're in, you're in charge here. I'm the bait. <laughs> you're gonna look after me. Don't let me die. Or I'll be pissed. Okay, go bait yourself. Don't, Don't forget where the trap is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna run out there and go, Wolves! <laughs> <laughs> Wolves! <laughs> they kind of look back at, look back at you. And then just look back at their food and keep on eating. <laughs> well, now I'm not, and I'm just offended. Uh, I'm gonna waltz up, <laughs> real stern like, uh, and I'm gonna slash one of the wolves with my knife. I can scare them into running. I'm gonna get line. them mad so they chase me. But if they're mad, then you won't be able to tame them. Oh, good point. <laughs> just, I can use thaumaturgy to make my voice originate, like, right next to them, and make it real loud, so it'll scare them into running towards the bait. Oh, well, then, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I do that, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was really gay. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, so you do that, like, on one side of them, and you see all of them just jump all at once, and then they kind of turn back and turn tail and run. And I did it on the side. Opposite of the base, yeah. where they'd run in that direction. Okay. Uh, all of them are running that way. I'll perch myself above the trap. Well, they're probably not going to go for the bait if they're scared, so you got to stop them somehow. Or scare them into the alley. Okay, I'll stand behind the alley. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, the alley. Uh, I'll take... I'll go stand across from it, so when they come running by, I'll jump out and be like, boo! And I'll scare, like, maybe one of them into the alley. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'd be optimistic. Um, so yeah, I do that. I jump out and I go, Woo! <laughs> so there's one wolf that's like the Usain Bolt of the pack. He was like, probably like 20 feet ahead of the other. And, uh, you jump out right in front of him and scare him. And he jumps in the air and in the middle of his jump he turns small into the alley and starts running. Got and him! then, uh, the rest of the three wolves, the three others are still running towards you. And <laughs> they look angry. So, as soon as the uh, the wolf turns into the alley, I'll like, slide off the building. Or when I, I wouldn't jump off, because I'm yeah. assuming it's pretty tall, but yeah. I'll climb my way down and try and keep out of sight until I know that he's in the trap. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so you climb down, and uh, when you get the trap, there's a wolf in the trap. And um, he's really struggling, and he's howling a lot, and barking okay. a lot, and just moving his paws a lot, I, and stuff. I'm probably going to climb up the wall, because I don't want you to eat yeah, okay. um, if the If the other ones are chasing you, leave them away a bit, so that this one is isolated. Alright, fine. You're fast, you'll get away. Yeah, I'll run away, uh, but uh, let's... Uh, previously, before all this went down, we had a little conversation where it was... This is the team wolf. <laughs> when we tame this wolf, it's a team wolf. All right? Don't okay. get all possessive here, guys. All right, fine. Okay? Take, all right? I don't really want my own wolf, but, like, a dog would be cool. It'd be like the, the group dog. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, now we fade back into present. And I'm booking it. Because I want to get eaten. <laughs> so you're booking it, and you're somehow able to run around the same speed that the wolves are chasing you at. Yeah. Get down on all fours and run like a cat. Nice. <laughs> really doesn't sound that cool. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Someone okay. get this fucking cat <laughs> on this fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, uh, like, I'm not super fast, but I'd be, like, jogging, clanking my way downtown towards the hole <laughs> <laughs> in the track. <laughs> um, Face is right. past and you're homebound. <laughs> yeah. 
I would uh, turn into the alley where uh, Lazarus and the, the trapped wolf is. And... Okay. So I'll be like kind of in front of the wolf with another piece of my venison, kind of trying to calm him down slowly, like creeping up on him type okay. thing in front of him. Uh, just roll in animal handling. What should we fail? I got a f- four? Mm. Oof. Yes. Yeah, he's not having any of that. That's fine. It's not he's, my wolf. He's trying to bite your hand as you try to feed it. And he's trying to scratch you as well. Not not really successfully, just yeah. because he's trapped in the neck. Or whatever the trap is. Yeah, what kind of trap know. is it? Is it like a, like a, 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 a leg trap? Like bull trap? Or a, a net? Or... A snare trap. Like how you catch like, rabbits. Okay. Triggers and cinches around their foot. Cool. So okay. we can't move. That's good. We can't run away. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, it would be much of a trap. If you could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes him stand there for two seconds. And... <laughs> uh, can, uh, can I like kind of like make my way back? Yeah. After like, I'll try. Like, I'll right. lead them away like a few blocks, and yeah. I'll jump up a building. Yeah, and sure. you're uh, able to uh, lose their tracks. Okay, and then I'll leap from rooftop to rooftop, make my way back. Okay. So once I see Vine, I'm going to be like, "Hey, Vine, you try. He's not having anything of me." And I throw right. the venison at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will catch the venison, <laughs> and I will approach the wolf like really slowly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my name's Ryan. <laughs> Room nine. Uh, Want meat? <laughs> uh, okay, well, I don't have any spells for this, but I guess I'll just uh, attempt to calm the wolf. I'll, like, you know, approach it, talk in a low voice, okay. and try and soothe it so it doesn't spaz out and attack me. And yeah, so just uh, an the healing check. Okay. And that's an 18. Uh, yeah, you're able to calm it down a, quite a bit. Cool. Like, it's not trying to bite, and it does eat some of the meat. Cool. Alright, well, we'll have the rest is up to, um... The wolf Lays. probably seen the paw Lays. hanging from my neck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, <laughs> the good news is you've got you've softened it up a little bit, so it knows we're not going to hurt him. Yeah. Yeah. So the wolf looks, sees the paw on your neck, looks at its own paw stuck in the trap, looks at your neck, <laughs> looks at its own paw, is like, and it's kind of a little bit scared when looking at you. Yeah, I'm just kind of standing there staring at me. And that's just when I show up. I do. A, I, I leap from the rooftop and I land with an impressive. Uh, and I'm like superhero landing, and I slowly stand up, and I'm like, "Hey!" And you abrupt <laughs> roll athletics or acrobatics. Uh, yeah, you do that. Nice. Cool. Hey guys, uh, I I read a lot of books, so would I know how to tame a wolf? <laughs> you have an encyclopedia about animals. Yeah, I, I'd say you'd probably know how. So can I just roll animal handling with advantage? With advantage. Yeah. I thought cats and dogs didn't get along. <laughs> I'm a f- tabaxi. <laughs> what? A- ah. Basically a cat man, man. Yeah, back off. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we make the <laughs> man. Come at me. Uh, mm. I got a 10. Uh, you're not having much luck with this wolf. <clears throat> it has calmed down, but... It's not really being too friendly. Too bad for this wolf, because we're not letting it go. <laughs> You're really not very good at this, are you? Oh, well, like, excuse me! I'll uh, approach the wolf, and I'll, like... I'll, I won't just touch it, yeah. but I'll, like, test the waters and try and, like, put my hand on his head so I can, like, stroke it. So you're going to touch it. it? No, I'm going to try to, and if it tries to bite me, I'm going to stop. So, like, how to train your dragon when Hiccup is, like... Eyes closed, hand out towards Toothless, and, and he's just like... gets bitten off, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dark turn. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine that actually happened, though? So and that's suddenly, how I lost my arm. <laughs> I mean, he did lose his leg. Hiccup, you're a fucking disgrace. <laughs> you're a fucking... Yeah, okay. That's right. Just roll him. Hand right. Handle him again. 20. Oh, uh, sorry. 17. I... Uh, uh, you're having pretty good luck with it right now. And it's like, you, you believe that after a while, like, you could probably get it to follow you, and sweet, 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 eventually sweet. it will sweet, sweet, probably sweet. like you. Like me. You hear that? The one that didn't even want the wolf. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even, I'm not even invested in this. What's it called again when, like, prisoners end up like Stockholm all Syndrome? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome! <clears throat> Can we name him Stockholm? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, no, uh, but I'm like, uh, good, good work, Ryan. This is going well. Uh, let's not untie yet. I don't want to run away. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just sit down, chill, s- ingratiate ourselves with our new friend. All right, I don't care. <laughs> okay. You're the one who wanted to do this. Yeah, isn't it cool? Cool. Let's Aren't just, you having fun? Let's just hang out with this wolf until it likes us. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go back to you guys. Is there anything you'd like to do? Uh, uh, you guys do after I look for being time. blind, I'm yeah. gonna look for Farron. <laughs> I'm making okay. my way back to the to the group, and I'm like, okay, uh, you're probably able to hear their sound, so you're moderately easily able to find your way. Would I know where Farron went? <laughs> uh, you might assume that survival. Yep, roll a survival check or insight, I guess. Either would work. It's a six. Keep in mind that I did, like, scare the wolves, so you might have been able to hear that. Mm. You know. True. That's true. Yeah, so, I think you'd probably assume that he probably went back to the group. <laughs> Alright, so I close the door to the shop, um, and I run back to the group. And I'm making my way kind of a little woozy and dizzy-like, holding my head back to the group. Okay. Why are you dizzy? It's just a character. Yeah. Oh, it's troubling issues. It could have went a different way. Yeah, so you both have found your way back to the group now. And they're just sitting around having some tea with a wall. I, I, <laughs> I just kind of stumble to the ground and lean I, up against okay. the wall. Pinkies out, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Clink! I'm <laughs> letting the wall drink out my It's just building exercise. <laughs> Pick the wolf say, up, drop it into your arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust fall. <laughs> uh, uh, roll a perception when okay. you see him. Fifteen. Yeah, he does look woozy and is doesn't look like himself. I and you did realize that him doing that back then, like back at the store, wasn't his normal self either. Okay. Um. I really wanted to point at him and yell, Traitor! <laughs> hey, we have a wild animal. <laughs> but, um... That would be so good. <laughs> We're doing trust balls. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> just like this wolf, like, just still strapped up. Ryan just picks it up and then just drops it into my arm. <laughs> again and again until it likes us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's like what's uh, happening in the background. I just, uh, I, I love just, it. I kind of shout to Farron. I'm like, oh, where do you so think you're wild. going? Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I go and I choke him. <laughs> you're coming back to the village with me. <laughs> I just kind of accept the, the 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 choke. Okay. I don't even. I'm not. Resist. I'm not no, that oh, was a joke. Oh, it was just a reference okay. to that meme. It's a joke, no, bro. Yeah. Just, just a prank. Just a prank. Just, 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 just a prank, bro. <laughs> don't be so serious, bro. You know, I just, I just like. Chill, be chill. I say to you, I'm like, where do you think you're going? I don't think I'm going anywhere now. So we're all together now. Yeah. Uh, tell me, I didn't hurt you, did I? Uh. No, you did blind me, and you stole the necklace. <clears throat> Let me make it very clear, I'm not sure why I blinded you, but... Um, how much How much did it cost? Uh, it was 70, or 70 gold yeah. pieces. Uh, I, I make a small pouch of 70 gold pieces, and I throw it at his feet. Okay. That's true. Just hand it to him. Shoot. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired, man, I'm exhausted. That should cover the the price, I think. All right. Uh, are you doing okay? I kind of like get up slowly. Yeah. Look, I'll I'll be fine. I'm not quite sure what just happened, but um, need time to think on it. Am I able to do like an insight check or something on him? Uh, Investigate. Sure. What do you want? Investigation insight. Uh, insight. I'd say. That's a 19, baby. Uh, so I'll let you decide He's what gay. he thinks inside you. <laughs> he realizes you're sexually okay. attracted to each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what big biceps you have. I guess what you would understand is I, you definitely 
see exhaustion in my body, but you assume that, um, how do I explain this right? Um, like you're experiencing fatigue? Yeah, I'm definitely experiencing fatigue, but you sense that, like, I'm recovering from some sort of, uh, some sort of unnatural, unnatural Un- exactly a natural sense that is a dark energy, spicy. That's what you have to say. But <laughs> in that insight, you would understand more than I do from it. Right. I have no clue what happened. Um, seeing that he's acting so weirdly, I'm going to be keeping a cautious eye on him. Okay. So you're saying before when he froze that dolphin and lit that boat, <laughs> that was okay, but she, he, seems, he seems to be acting a little fatigued. Uh, I should keep an eye on him. <laughs> um, I just say, all right, well, rest up then. And I grab the coins and I walk back to the shop and like, I'm on the counter and come back. Okay. However long that, that will yeah, take. Yeah, that takes probably like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. And you don't encounter anything weird. Oh, I'm very, very I don't know. Uh, I left. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> I'll catch him later. Well, okay, but would you say that before I left with the money? I'll say that as maybe you're almost around the corner. Okay. Uh, yes, friend. Yeah. I'd like to look back. I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you. Uh, it's no problem. Um, just <coughs> try not to do it again. Um, I'll work hard at that. I'm gonna go find the, the rest of our friends. <laughs> You're with <laughs> Well, I did, like, when I oh, ran around, I was very blind. You turn around and they're all sitting there with wolves. <laughs> I pretty much <laughs> ran with Ryan my dropping a wolf down. into my arms yeah. while we're, while, uh, fucking Lazarus is, like, clinking his teeth next to the one we forced into the wolf's paw. Clink, clink, clink. Love us. Love one of us. One of us. <laughs> no, I just ran with my head down and then hit the ground, so I didn't even notice them. <laughs> Uh, that is where we'll leave off for this episode, and we'll see you next time on Nat 20.